Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. We have the European Historical Rules event for you, and we should have a good match as we have two maps that might be similar to one another. I don't know. It's Eastwood Skirmish and Eastwood. You're seeing an overview of both of those maps right now. Very exciting with that out of the way. Thank you to our YouTube members for the support. Go below the video, hit the join button to see monthly perks and prices. I appreciate that everyone that does this, it means a lot. With that out of the way, our teams for today on the Confederacy, we have 6th Alabama, Davis Brigade, Army of Northern Virginia, 2nd Corps, 13th Georgia, 3rd South Carolina, 20th Georgia, and Jenkins Brigade, whereas on the Union side, we have 2nd United States Cavalry, New York Volunteers, 4th New Jersey, 9th Corps, 1st Delaware, Lee's French Legion, Hood's Division, Shenandoah Valley Regulars, and the Jackson's Division. With that being said, I hope you enjoy this event. And here we are live on the battlefield for our first round here. It should be a good one. You have myself as Guardian Eagle announcing. We also have Shade with me today. What's up, guys? Volunteer Shade of the 24th Georgia. Can't even get past Volunteer. What a sad world. <laughs> no. Uh, all your guys are Volunteers, right? Yeah, it's uh, the enlisting rank. Other than Pearl, Pearl is a uh, Brigadier General. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's actually funny. So, Eastwood Skirmish, normally we see Union. I haven't watched Eastwood Skirmish in a while, but normally Union pushes down this left side or down the center to get the center or down the far right. They can kind of hit it anywhere. They've got a big open field. Is nice for these type of events. And you can see Union, they have a skirmisher group in the center here. Um, it is the 80th New York from the New York Volunteers who formed up with 6 uh, New York. And 4th PA is now 6 New York, so that's what NYV is. Uh, the Union split in half. We have LFL leading this right prong. I see 4th New Jersey here as well. And 1st Delaware. Love to see that. We dropped some merch for them. So if you want to check that out, the link in the description. But... Fighting them is second MS. D I see yeah. one second MS tag, and I say that, but uh, I see D B A and V six A L. I think everybody's kind of shifting down to that corner. Get ready for L F L here. Yeah, I hear a lot of them against one ridge. Yeah, L F L's guys, they're kind of slowly charging in here. The rest kind of sitting back shooting. I don't know why, but these guys just ran in and died out of line. Not going to go well for them. There are a lot of people on that fence back there. Yeah, no, they're getting shot up. CSA has a lot better cover. There are actually some more starting to push forward here. Uh, 28th M Massachusetts from 9th Corps. They're going to get shot up. There's only like five of them. Uh, and now the remainder of LFL. Victor trying to move in. I don't know why he's moving in. They're going to get slaughtered. The whole CSA team's here. I don't think they're actually aware of where everybody is right now. No. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> kind of just surrounding the, the fence that they're charging down. I think CSA has bucking ball too. Yeah, Victor yeah. going down that flag. Uh, on the right side here for the CSA, you see 2nd Corps, 20th Georgia, and 13th Georgia. Um, but CSA's got everything clamped down. One thing we didn't look at quickly is our numbers. It's about 220-man server, perfectly balanced. CSA has one more man. Um, Unfair. So great coordination here. Um, that one man could make a huge difference, though. You know, in the Civil War, one man could easily kill 20 men very easily. It's just got to be a different <laughs> breed, though. <laughs> oh, of course. 80th to 8th, New York moving up a little bit to these rocks in the center. I think they were trying to go for that corner, but um, they're getting shot up and destroyed here. Only about four of them remain. Half their line got destroyed, and there's only three of them left. Beautiful shot and it's from kinda, CSA. Yeah, it's kind of hard for them to be pushing up through this field right now, especially when you have, like, three regiments on that fence right in front of them. Exactly. Uh, not going to be any fun. One other thing, quickly looking at. So even infantry, well, let's see. Union's putting 12 on artillery. So in reality, CSA has 10, 11 more men holding this defensive position. And that can be huge because artillery on Eastwood Skirmish is like a 4 out of 10. The big thing is that it's just flat ground. Yeah, they really don't. The only thing they can really shoot that well, I think, is the uh, cornfield, right? Yeah, and maybe that corner that the Union is trying to go for. 
but they can't hit across the map just because it's so hard because it's cresting up top there and CSA can defilate easily. And then if CSA is in the woods, it's going to be very hard. You see six Alabama, though. Uh, they're coming out of the corn, and they're going to try to hit this artillery. Uh, moving up to assist, uh, Union Artillery is 4th New Jersey. I don't think they know 6 Alabama is approaching. Um, artillery overshooting. 4th New Jersey about to find out in a second. They still haven't seen him yet, have they? The hunter's panicking because he sees them. Uh, and these guys are exposed in the open here. Great shots from 6 Alabama. Um, Rest of 4th New Jersey there is engaging. 4th New Jersey falling back. You can see 9th Corps moving up on them. And Union is charging on the left side. Uh, they're going to be hit from A and V in the open, though. I like the flank from A and V here. I don't think Union expected it. Because um, Union's kind of charge. It really was, and they're going to they're gonna win over here. Uh, on the other hand, uh, he has 2nd U.S. Cav pushing back 20th Georgia. Uh, but I don't think 2nd U.S. Cav is going to be able to last long um, with the CSA basically surrounding them. 6 Alabama starting to fall back on that flank. Um, they are outnumbered. Yeah, but I think they can uh, make some good work of this if they shoot and kind of pull back here. 100%. Doesn't Second, look like that's the plan. Second U.S. going up and over here. Getting great shots on Davis Brigade. Um, again, CS, I don't know why CSA isn't wiping them out. CSA easily outnumbers these guys here, but they're kind of just sitting back. Um, and now second U.S. is saying to fall back. Um, meanwhile, on the right side of this map... Uh, it looks like 1st uh, Delaware, LFL, 9th Corps, 4th New Jersey. Um, they're kind of holding up on these rocks here where we saw 6 Alabama earlier. It's been a good push. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but Confederates holding strong, having the tick advantage. And they're um, playing this very well so far. Again, yeah, they've gotten a couple of dead charges. Oh, 100%. The um, one thing about this event that makes it interesting is there's no Steam chat, unlike most events we normally see on this channel. Um, so they have to send runners. For example, Atomic here, I don't know if he's a runner or not, but I would assume he's probably a runner, running to the left side of the map to alert his allies of um, their position here. Uh, we have 88th New York holding out in the center here, uh, doing some skirmishing. Looks like they did some shots, and now they're pushing further forward uh, and it's crouching down. Interesting approach. I mean, what is the 88th? 88th isn't even is not going Cav. That's second U.S. I. This might work in a long run thing, but crouching down like this will get you in skir or oh, skirmishing, yeah, skirmishing death. deaths. Yeah. And that's three times the amount of tickets as information. Also, shooting from that far away while crouching is going to be hard to get hits. If anything, especially with a 10 man in balance, the Union needs to be together as a team and hit charges. They can't be kind of spread out as they are. Um, and if they are going to be spread out, only have small forces um, where you don't plan on hitting. Have most of your team hit one spot. Like, I think Union could divert a couple of their regiments out to this right side and slam into the 6th Alabama um, to get into the corn and get behind the CSA. And the Union is working the uh, left side, that cornfield over there. They've been doing pretty well, but I think they're starting to get some support now from other regiments. Could be an issue. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you can see, I'm guessing, ANV. Yep, there's Killer. Uh, leading his men to help the 6th Alabama right as more Union started to move in. LFL moving in. Um, looks like all the Union that's still alive on this flank has pushed forward to this outer snake fence. And uh, they're going to charge in, but they're heavily outnumbered thanks to the ANV's reinforcements. Not going to be a good charge here. <laughs> There's a lot of bucking ball. They're, they're charging in. It's skirmishing out of line. Half the guys are just kind of sitting back, not even doing anything. 
Not a very coordinated charge. No. Boom! And just like that, Union goes down to engage. More Union out of lines running up. Um, JB. Another regiment's going down to the corner. Yeah, they are. Hey, hey, this is the one thing that sucks about having to have runners is that you have these delays and stuff. I don't know if LFL's just respawning in and now coming back to this right side, but LFL's going to get shot up. They're heavily outnumbered over here. Uh, never good to be two regiments down in a battle like this. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Union artillery overshooting by a little bit. That one overshooting by a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> I think it bounced. Might have bounced a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it probably bounced. But we can see 2nd U.S. doing this kind of information spread out. I think these these are really cool to look at. See HG also on the punch as well. I think these are cool to look at, but... I think I like what the 2nd U.S. is doing on the left. I just wish HD and the 88th New York would shift to the right and help their friendlies assault that side. I don't think the 88th is doing that much. If anything, they're causing their team to lose tickets. Because the CSA, for the most part, are dying in formation. Maybe with the exception of these guys here. Maybe that's their goal, but now they're falling back. Um, but you can see those dead guys there. Yeah, they're getting charged out of those rocks. <laughs> Not going to win that one. But um, it's good for uh, whoever just took those. Is that New York? The rocks in the middle? Yeah. 80th New York. Yes, it is. Uh, they, they have a pretty good position now. You know, less of the skirmishing. Missing. You know, artillery missing again. It's so hard to hit this right side. It is. I'm surprised they haven't focused down left where it seems to be a lot of people. Exactly. But I think they're kind of pulling out now uh, as most yeah. of the competition is gone. And, yep, A and V going back to the center. We can see 6 Alabama. They're pushing up again probably to those rocks. Maybe get some nice shots at that artillery. Um, looks like Union artillery is getting a wee bit closer Whoa, to hitting the enemy. Uh the Union's got to figure out a way. they got to figure out some angle to hit here. Yeah, with that many guys on Artie, you got to be producing the numbers to make it worth it. Yeah. The same issue I saw last night at HDC is there was a lot of people on Artie and not a lot of uh, kills to uh, make up for the fact. Man, how many guns are the Union operating right now? The Union has... 12 men using three guns. Four per gun. That's bold. I, I guess they have two officers here, so 10 for three guns, so a little over three people. That's still a bad ratio. That is a terrible... I mean, that's the historic ratio is three people per gun. Two to, like, roll it up and aim it, and then the last person to get ammo. Um, should maybe have only one or two on a gun. I feel most. like there might be some rule towards uh, how many people you can have on a gun in this I can uh, event. That, right but that, that might make sense. Um. In the center here, the Union starting to push forward. 6 Alabama pulling back. Uh, fourth New Jersey. They're coming again, boys. Uh, looks like more Unions supporting that left flank here. Davis Brigade is really the only group. Um, they they got to be careful to not far too far. Uh, got to fall not too far behind here because they're already getting a little bit of this uh, shootout. They're engaged. But there goes CSA. Yeah, third South Carolina getting pushed back. Only two of them though. Fourth New Jersey here. They're charging Davis Brigade. Uh, if Fourth New Jersey can win this. That would be huge for this corner. Because um, Union needs to have some ground. 88th New York needs to come up and help. Uh, and that's what they're doing. There they go. Um, Jenkins Brigade here as well. Again, a lot of tighter CSA regiments here. I like what 88th New York's doing there. Um, a couple more from spawn moving in. And Union's going to get this corner. Where's the CSA to come plug this hole to help them out? I think they're uh, just kind of, yeah, uh, the messaging system in this is probably making it hard. Oh, I think they're now reacting. Six Alabama starting to move in. ANV moving in as well. ANV knows charging in. Good little charge there. 
Oh, he's gonna shoot me. I don't think the Union has enough numbers to win this there. No, and Union doesn't have any flags here as well. So if CSA just keeps putting guys here, of course, they got to avoid dying uh, in skirmishing and on a line. But I think A and B is going to be able to overcome this in the end. I mean, these, just gonna back a little bit. Yeah, these <laughs> Union guys are just kind of blobbing up here. Not up against the fence. Some of them are charging over. Um, Turning into some out of line deaths. But I think uh, they're just, they're still realizing there's still people there. Oh, and here comes six Alabama. <laughs> yeah, and that's going to wipe the Union. And they're pulling back. Hey, it's so valiant effort, them. but. More Union pushing up to that center rock here. HD. Uh, they're stopping on the rocks here. So the only rules I can see for artillery. Um, artillery unit cannot consist more of 10 guys. Artillery pieces have to be manned by at least two enlisted artillery men. Art uh, officers don't count for that. So at least two. So you can have two per gun. They're having okay. three. Um I think they should take it down to two per gun. Because, I mean... The, uh, who is on Artie right now? So, for Union Artillery, uh, I see six New York. And some Let's HD guys. I think it's just uh, probably a mix of a lot of people wanting to have Artie. Probably what happened. Could be. But, but well, the thing that confuses me uh, is they have... I guess there's only one... I mean... They have three guys on two of these guns. They could, they could send two of them over to this last gun that they're not using. At least utilize all the guns. Yeah, be the most productive you can be. So, a lot of the Union has moved to the open. Second U.S. Uh, it's kind of confusing to tell what's happening right now. A lot of the Union, just in the center open field, I don't know what they're doing. Trying to communicate something. Some are going up to the rocks in the center. You can see 4th New Jersey moving that way. 2nd U.S. Uh, with their cav guns in the open. Again, I don't know why any Union group would hold out in this open field. It's a hard place to stand. And, you know, going into skirmishing gives you those, uh, you know, skirmishing tickets, which isn't good. But standing in a line like that and clumping up is just easy pickings for the, for the CSA there. It is indeed, but at least the unions together, they can kind of communicate a little more effectively. They're half a morale stage down. You can see six Alabama returning up to those rocks on the right. A and V knows pushing down this center lane. This is brilliant because they're going to have great shots on the union. Um, sure, the CSA guys here are also exposing themselves a little more. They're actually getting shot up, though. Um, maybe not good. I don't know, but they're so far ahead on tickets. I don't even know if it matters. Uh, no, they they shot up second U.S. as well. So, seeing that the Union has sat themselves in the open, uh, they tried to push forward. They dealt some damage, about even wise. We see a charge happening in the center. HD going in. Uh, I think Fourth New Jersey is up here as well. That's a mix of groups actually. But Union's taking this corner position. CSA hasn't reacted yet. So still just kind of probing here. DB, A, and V kind of sitting back, recovering. Um, CSA Except on the top. Really aware. Yeah. CSA on the top of this hill need to come down. They could heavily outnumber them. You see they're starting to do that right now. Um, a and V's getting shot up, though. A lot of them in that corner right there. I don't know if any people are going to shift down from the uh, other side. They're starting, they're slowly moving down. They're actually pulling back, back up the hill. Um, but CSA is letting Union have control of this center position, which Union just needs to gain some foothold. And then they could start getting respawns with their flags and the rest of history artillery missing. Close one though, they knocked a guy over there. They knocked their own teammates down. I wonder if they killed any of their own teammates there. I feel like it's possible. But no, A and V, DB essentially getting wiped. Only a couple remain. Six Alabama still on that corner, not doing anything. 
Rest of the CSA still holding on the top of this hill. Um, ticket wise, getting a little closer here. I think two cores should uh, go down to that corner. At least uh, try to at the same time as uh, AMV whenever they get healthy again. So they could kind of get rid of that union group there. Yeah, they, they need to move in together. That's the big thing. You don't want to go in independently like six Alabama's going in right now. Uh, sure, they have a flag, but there's only seven or eight of them compared to the whole union team. More unions starting to move in here from the center rock. And six Alabama's going to get shot up. And Union hitting, taking losses, but Confederates slowly going back down to their... He's slowly catching up to the Union. Can we have a... Can we have a runner up to I hear some Union guys talking about artillery. Davis Brigade now here. Maybe artillery is team killing. On here, on here. That's never good. In some uh, bad arty kills in my days. <laughs> Indeed. I think they really do need to take those guys off our, at least half of them off arty. I mean, they're not being the most productive. Um, there's not really much they could shoot with the position they have, and they haven't really been hitting. Plus, I mean, they what? You said they had three on a cannon, right? Yeah, about. Never worth it. Nope. So 20th George is shifted further up the hill, going to where the Union was holding on the beginning of the match. You see 13th and 2nd Corps joining them as well, trying to hit him from the side. Not a bad place for shots. Uh, you see more of 2nd Corps still holding where they were holding on the top of the hill. They're starting to go. Confederates hitting, taking losses. A and V holding near the point, a little off it. There's a lot of guys in that corner now. It's a pretty good holding position for them. It really is. Are you talking CSA or Union? Union, they have oh, that yeah. right holding. I mean, like, a lot of them. I think they can't even get their flags back at uh, the A and V, so. No, it's going to be very hard for them to get this flag. We have Tesla here from... Davis Brigade. Maybe he will be able to get it. I don't know though. He's kind of just crouching in the field, the corn field. I think he's time. vibing. He, he's really uh, vibing. He's probably going to get called out pretty soon though from the admins. <laughs> they do not like Rambos. Probably is. We have another Rambo here. I think probably a messenger from second core. He's running away from second core. Now he's just going to sit in the open shooting. But the whole Union team has moved to that corner position. And CSA is split up. Union could it charge seems if like they're, they're massing. There's right. massing in that corner right there. I think they're getting ready for something big to happen. Union could try to shoot him down. They could probably get him down to breaking within 17 minutes. I mean, that's a long time. I mean, a lot of these guys are dying in formation at this point, so it might be hard to get them down, but when they get down, they will. You gotta be careful though, there's, uh, there's a lot of people uh, on that fence behind to your left. Yeah. All that CSA out there has got some good shots on them because uh, they're facing their back. Uh, how... I mean, I don't think bodies turned up at all, but... Union doesn't appear to be getting hit that much, but maybe those bodies that have died have just disappeared. Uh, but CSA still ahead on tickets. Just by a little bit though, USA did catch up. They, they, yeah, they catched up a lot. Taking that corner is very huge for the Union. Holding back in the center row. Second US Cav. Oh, no. They're just Number getting this so they can uh, base, get some shots on the CSA on top of the hill. I think we're seeing some slight turtle uh, from some regiments. I, CSA I, I think they're like a turtle. Waiting. This isn't turtling. I not not as bad as a couple of events I saw a while back, but yeah. I guess they're just kind of waiting for the right moment. Yeah. A and V pushing down the far left side here. Um, I like that they're going to try something here. My only concern is they are all by themselves. Um, 
I don't know if that was 6 Alabama or Davis Brigade who fell back there, but... Killer knows, so we'll see what he does. I think it's going to be good, though. They don't see him coming because of the corn. Yeah, like, and Union's kind of pushed off this corner. They shifted their guys to the left a little. Um, a lot of the Union starting to circle around my second U.S. Cavs. This gives a a perfect opportunity to hit this corner here on the 80th New York. And A, this New York is getting Whoa, shot up. Press left, press left. Press right. Fucking balls doing work too. Yeah, no, 88th New York got wiped. I don't know why they were trying to dress left and right there while they, <laughs> they got destroyed. They're entirely gone just from shooting. Yeah. So that, that was a huge play by A and V now. Uh, the rest of the Union not shifting down to this corner. They're just kind of sitting up. I don't know if they know they're being shot from the side. Takes a while for everybody to notice because of the no steam chat rule. So I mean, I every reaction is going to be a little bit delayed because of communication. I think uh, some HD guys are noticing now. Yep. And they are starting to move in. Credit getting destroyed by Bucking Ball. Only a couple Union guys moving in. This ticket differential is getting bigger again. Sorry. CSA on the top of the hill starting to move further and further down this hill. Union's looking more and more like they're going to get wiped soon. Um, partially because I think that second U.S. Cav, they tried to flank these guys on the top of the hill, but it took them so long um, that now their friendlies are going to get wiped here. Um, I just got sandwiched by the CSA. I mean, and Union has no flags up here. They have one flag, but it's down, and they're not picking it up. There he goes. Good man. I don't know how long this is going to last, though. I don't think too much longer. Maybe if they can get some reinforcements down here, but I'm not sure how far away that would be. It's 6 a.m. moving in, but even if they got the reinforcements, these reinforcements are going to have to run through a big open field where the CSA can hit them pretty easily. Um, yeah, LFL remaining here, maybe about 10 guys left, but CSA spectacularly pushing the Union back off and getting ahead in the ticket game, uh, battle. Very huge on their part. I mean, this is it just separated like it was in the beginning, and it, I don't know what just happened, but CSA charging. Union is not getting uh, tickets they need. And just like that, CSA have wiped the unit. I think a big thing was second U.S. Cav pulling off. Oh, there's two now. Fuck. Maybe the result would have been the same, but Union could have definitely put up more of a fight, especially because the second U.S. Cav has a fly that could have gotten more respawns in. But anyways, half a morale sure stage difference. Twelve and a half minutes left. I, I don't know. I don't think CSA is going to lose it. I think CSA is going to win this. They're, they're still missing their arty shots, too. Yeah, they're maybe getting a hit every once in a while, but uh, we're about to see an encounter here in the center. Um, JB up front, Jenkins Brigade. I, where are they going? They're going to get out of there just in the nick of time right as the Union gets down this road. Um... Uh, a and V starting to fall back from where they were because they're gonna get flanked. Uh, but HD is charging this corner here, maybe thinking it's a close fight. Um, but six Alabama, actually A and V is pushing off to the right. Union might be able to take this corner here. A and V's got to get back in there. Yeah, I think they're just now noticing. <laughs> and. Just as Shade says, here comes A&V. Uh, 80th New York now moving in. And TK's from A&V. One man point blank shooting his friendly in the back. Uh, Union's going to get wiped here. A couple guys left from HD. Union going down to breaking. And... What a sad tale indeed. Jenkins Brigade getting pushed back in the center, though. Um, by 4th, New Jersey. Fighting happening on all, nearly all fronts of the Eastwood skirmish. I'm going to try to take the middle again. I, I like Running through the open field has just got to be murderous for them. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it really does. I mean, kind of attacking from any point, but no, that middle is probably your best bet because at least you got the snake fence on each side. Sure, yeah. I guess you have this rock as kind of a checkpoint to regain support, but... After that, you got a whole team of uh, CSA waiting for you. Yeah. I think that artillery shot missed. I don't know. I don't think they've hit a shot from what I've seen. They've hit maybe I... one or two. Yeah, I, I haven't seen them really, like, actually get a red mist on, like, a bunch of people. It's very disappointing because I love seeing the uh, explosions that wipe out half a line. That is the one thing that is cool about these events. Is that, um... Because, I mean, in any battles, the likelihood that they're in tight single double rank... Okay, maybe not the single rank, but at least double rank is rare. You normally don't see that. And so in EU events, when artillery hits, it hits. Um, getting a lot of information. I of course. still think they should probably at the end of this game get those guys off because I mean the extra people in a final charge for point would be so much more worth it than keeping them on Artie. They should have done it 30 minutes ago. Uh, but like 80th New York, they have 10 ish guys trying to go in the double rank. I don't know why you're going in the double rank when you have such a small force. When your enemy has buck and ball, you get shredded like that. They lost. Six, five, six guys there from one volley. Uh, kind of close distance. Only eight minutes left, so Union's got to try something here. Something that puts them into breaking and keeps themselves alive. Of course, um, I'm just looking at double rank from the game perspective. Confederates about to go into breaking, eight and a half minutes. I mean, CSA is still in a phenomenal spot. Union still has a great chance to win this game. This match isn't over, but Union spread out into kind of three groups right now, so I, I really don't see how the Union's going to be able to win this. Yeah, it's going to be a hard uh, one to come back from, especially with that early deficit, or like the deficit that they just got a little bit ago. I mean, they made up for it early on, but... Still got even numbers here, but the server's grown to about 235. Um, but still, 12 men on artillery, that is that is terrible. Yeah. They're really outnumbered by a lot more than what it says. Three-man imbalance turns into a 18-man uh, imbalance. Or no, not 18, 15-man. It happens that quickly. So, Confederates do have some men capping Davis Brigade. I don't know if intentional or not, but... I mean, CSA has been killing this all game. Yeah, they really have had some pretty good ideas on how to flank them and just, you know, keep ahead of the Union. And next map is Eastwood, so we're going to have to assume the Confederates just decide to give up this land. That'd be really funny if Union somehow win. Union artillery overshooting um, by a little bit. Let's see what Union's doing. You have 4th New Jersey returning to the center of rocks. Um, you have HD on the right side getting... They're heavily outnumbered there. Uh, you have 2nd US uh, and JD. I love to see JD here. Uh, on the left side, moving into reinforce is 1st Delaware. Uh, rest of the Union at main spawn. LFL, more HD. I think 88th. Actually, I don't know where the 80th New York went. Um, maybe they're still over here. Ah, no, they moved out before I checked. So, there they go. A lot of A and B shots going over here. But they are... If, if they are, do a bucket ball, I mean, you're going to have a lot of these shots sadder. 80th New York, though, they're going to push in. Or are they going by themselves? Six minutes left. Uh, Confederates they are going by right, themselves. Yeah, they will... Yeah, they're pushing them by themselves. Uh, I, I like the urgency of this to uh, push forward, but why are these why are these guys, these CSA guys are like trying to charge forward and stab them? But 8th New York got shot up, more moving into assist. 
Um, but they were heavily outnumbered. Uh, Union down a half more. I'll say the rest of the Union team has no sense of urgency right now. Yeah, there's really there's just five minutes left, and it's you know they got a cap or they got to do something to put the you know, say in the last stand here, and they they just hit breaking, so it's gonna be a minute. They're gonna have to be pretty aggressive towards the end of this half. They want to win. Union, a bunch of Union Rambos hitting the center here. Uh, mostly from HD, though. Um, I think they're just trying to get the flags, but they're dying out of line and skirmishing. And Union still has a lot of men on artillery. Uh, let's see if these shots hit. I think they're aiming for the center here. Hey! Hey! It finally Union happened! Oh, unfortunately, most of the AMV peeped out, though. Uh, on the right side, we see LFL. Finally, Union's going to be able to get into this cornfield. LFL does have a flag. Almost looked like they didn't there for a moment. Four and a half minutes remaining. Uh, AMV kind of pushing back a little with 6LA and DB. Um, more Union behind LFL. More we like five guys, but we're going to see AMV get hit here by LFL. Great kill, Shade. Thank you. Gotta kill that officer early, you know? Indeed. And Union's gonna win this. So, LFL claiming this corner. Uh, the rest of these A and V, D, B, 6, A, L, I don't know why they're pulling back a little further. Union has an opportunity to get this corner. Great shot by Epic Buzzy. He just domed that guy. But 4th New Jersey moving up here. 88th New York moving up here as well. That corner isn't capping though, right? No. So, I mean, in reality, they do need to get all their people down there soon if they want to take that point. Yeah, and more. You, CSA just kind of gave this up. HD now moving in. Because CSA still has even numbers to the Union. They're starting to get outnumbered, though. And A lot coming from spawn, it looked like. Yeah, three minutes left on this clock. Union's very close to final push. That clock probably won't change that much. But... Oh, it's daytime. Someone just flash banged everybody. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> a lot of the CSA still holding on top of the hill right now. But more CSA. We saw a couple of these guys skirmishing in the back. Second core. KB. Um, but looks like CSA has just fallen back for a new defensive position right next to the point. Um, I don't know if I like them doing this. Maybe they just moved to avoid artillery. Artillery maybe getting a kill there. Um, but again, CSA charging in the center map here, uh, against second U.S. and part of fourth New Jersey. Second U.S. doesn't even realize they're here yet, and they get hit in the back. Beautiful move by 20th Georgia. Fourth New Jersey turning around to help, but 20th Georgia just destroyed the second U.S. cap. Wow. <laughs> wow. 13th Georgia now moving in. What a flank. Union final push. Wow, that was brilliantly executed. That and now impressive. Union Union starting to move in. Two minutes remaining. I think this is gonna this is gonna fail. Wow, what a play by 20th Georgia. KB on the point for second core. 14th LA guys here as well. Um, I'll, I'm intrigued to see if the rest of the CSA on this left side start to move over onto the point. A lot of already shooting over here now. I think they know that the uh, CC is kind of uh, hiding in the uh, back behind the corn. One of the CSA, I mean, CSA is still winning on point here. I wonder if them being in the woods right here is on point. It, honestly, it probably is. Anyways, is. more, uh, we see more second core. They're going to flank this Union group that's on the point here. And Union doesn't even realize they're here. They're... And that second core group is going to wipe the Union group on point. Uh, 13th Georgia holding this corner, delaying these uh, Union guys who are pushing in a lot of Union rambles. They're just trying to get to the point now. Uh, as time diminishes, one minute remaining. JB holding in the center rocks. Uh, and Union, for the most part, is just gunning it to the point. CSA, very smart here. Pushing out to the snake fence. 
again, uh, Union just needs more bodies on point when the clock hits zero. And CSA is like, you're not even going to get close to point. We're going to push out so you can't get there. Um, Union. There's not enough time. No, Union charging the center rocks at JB. I don't know why they charged here. That's not the point. No time for that. <laughs> sure, you're probably going to lose anyways, but... Wow, what I'll get some kills if you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. What a performance by CA CSA. A well-deserved win all around. Uh, brilliant charges from A and V, and especially 20th Georgia there at the end. That that was significant. And that's the end of our first match here. Shade your thoughts. Um, really depressing what just happened to a private who got banned literally 0 0.01 seconds right before the game ended for too many team kills, but. <laughs> Uh, great, great defense by the uh, CSA there. It's really good holding and a lot of good charges. Yeah, no, 100% agree. That that was brilliantly done. Of course, it is a lot harder to an attack uh, to attack on a event like this when you got to coordinate everything with runners. Uh, however, I don't know what they talked about in cord. I know I've seen Jenkins Brigade do it in the past on Roulette Lane where they're like every five minutes we're gonna charge at this point. If it fails, we reform, hit him again. But regardless of that, phenomenal job by CSA. Union just appeared to need some more coordination, and they need to hit spots as a whole team instead of independently going in. But, of course, it's kind of hard with this event. Uh, exciting first round. CSA is falling further back in the Eastwoods, and we'll see what happens there. See you in the next round. And here we are live on the second round here. I'm very excited to see how the EU plays this because when we watch NA play this... Um last week's last weekend sunday union held here and it worked very very well and they won pretty dang decisively of course csa kind of fell apart towards the end of the second round but um it'll be intriguing to see how differently we see the strategy um, looking at our csa approach looks like second core is going to push down this left side here and then the rest of the csa team is going down the right in terms of the union defense Nearly every Union team is holding where we historically see the Union. Um, we will they don't see have, yeah. They don't have the same arty guys as last game, so they might actually uh, be able to keep <laughs> themselves alive here. That is true. We see Targre here, level 100. The real deal here in War Rights. The elite of the elite right there. Indeed. Yes. Uh, why, the don't, of them. why are these Union guys crouching? No, because they're cheap. Uh, they're getting ready. They know something that we don't. Clearly. So, ANV knows, and Killer is pushing down this very far right side. I think this is the farthest I've seen a team go that way. Six Alabama uh, and Davis Brigade following. Off to the left side, you see 20th Georgia. They're kind of by themselves behind the 20th Georgia um, is 13th Georgia. Uh, and then you see second core off in the distance. Shots being engaged on this far side here. Um, looks like more just the Union taking their shots. Uh, however, but you see the Union commanders HD, the Raiders out front. Looks like more your skirmishers. Killer running out to scout the enemy. See if they see him. Oh, here they come. They gotta see that one. Raiders seeing them. More Union seeing shooting. They're shooting at like four or five guys here from Jenkins Brigade. Got a lot of regiments here. A lot of tiny ones at that. Um... Six Alabama is pushing down this far right side. Davis Brigade with them. Killer and his guys off to the left a little bit. They're going to get an absolutely beautiful flank on the Union here if they keep going yeah, this way. They're about to just crash straight into him. Yeah, I, to the east, I, see him. I think first Delaware does see him though. HC sees him as well. Here comes Killer. A and V charging. Right at Oh. A lot of the Union shooting in the other direction, though, because there is CSA there, but not a whole lot. Uh, I'm intrigued to see where 6 Alabama and Davis Brigade is. Uh, they're still flanking around. 
But A and B getting wiped here. They're very outnumbered. A lot of the CSA sitting back shooting. 20th Georgia and um, Jenkins Brigade. Rebel 2nd Corps getting behind the Union left. here. Here comes 6 Alabama. Um, left, 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 left. They know they're there. Right in front of us, Be boys. Rest, 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 rest. They don't know they're there. They're going to get some nice shots, getting a flag, getting two flags. Never just one flag. Um, now they see him, but the Union's kind of being encircled here. Confederates winning on tickets. Um, I'm intrigued to see what 2nd Corps is doing here. They're, they're, they're kind of gathering up here. That kind of looks cool. Um, yeah. But the Union getting encircled here. Does Davis Brigade and 6 Alabama, yep, they have a flag, so at least they can get some respawns, but um, they're all by themselves no. here. And they're shifting even further behind the Union lines. Where is the CSA at? See that. A lot of different areas and they're pretty spread out, but if you, so if you look at balance right now, you'll see one regiment has 61 people in it, but it's multiple different regiments on Union. Hmm. I've seen that once before on a BLN Wednesday when IVB told everyone to get on 69th New York for buck and ball. <laughs> Smart. It, it is. Yes. End up winning that one? Yeah, yes, it was a lag fest, but they did They did end up winning. Seems like everybody's kind of just chilling for now. I don't know. A lot of volleying, I think. Yeah. Take, Take, right. Take right. 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 Here comes second core though. They're gonna. They're taking some shots oh. here at first yeah. Delaware, getting some hits, charging these guys out. Man, Beautiful man. kills here. I'm for go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, and it, I don't know if they're gonna try to push forward, if they're just gonna try to cut off Union spawn. Union spawn starting to shoot at them. Um, Great shots by second core here. LFL and fourth New Jersey are kind of bunched up. LFL in double ranks. Ah. I don't like the uh, double ranks in this game. I feel like it doesn't work as commonly as people wanted to. No, I th I, I think it looks sick. Um, but it, and it makes a little more sense in a lot of larger number situations. But when you only have like 15, 20 men. Skirmishing size. I don't know if double rank's the best idea. Um, but HD, these guys are getting charged out by Rebel Second Corps. Rebel Second Corps is doing brilliantly with getting out of lines um, and skirmishing. They're keeping the CSA ahead right now. Uh, A and V getting in here from Maine. But CSA probing. Um, to the left of A and V, you see 20 Georgia. They're getting shot up here. Pretty nice shots from the Union. 20 Georgia essentially got white. Um, only five of them remain. 13 Georgia, their left. They got very nice cover. Again, crouching down. Uh, a and V knows charging in. Got it, got it, got it. Second U.S. falling back. I never understand why you want to fall back in this instance. I think they outnumber them too, which is kind of weird. I know, Union you know numbers, you know there's plenty of allies behind you. When you retreat, you're more likely to be in skirmishing out of line. And if anything, the enemy's killing you, you're not killing the enemy. So you're just losing tickets overall. Union win that, not surprising though. I Retreating in War of Rights doesn't make sense about 90-95% of the time. Maybe if you see they're going to take like a rock position is where I would say it's okay. Yeah. But May Dragon suffer and the flag break. <laughs> They're treating in that instance was uh no 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 no, no, no. But, uh, ended in a lot more skirmishing tickets than they could have wanted. But uh honestly tickets are pretty close here, so now yeah, Union's still doing good despite a couple things. Second core keeping a lot of the Union kept up in their actually not a whole lot. J D is mostly engaging them. Uh, you also see first Delaware, you're kind of holding back here, but. Depeche, vers la gauche, vers me. 
So, looking on the overhead, though, um, second quarter starting to fall back. 20th GA and 13th Georgia reforming. Uh, it looks like 6 Alabama is going in for a flank here or not not a flank sorry they're just they're just going in are they going they're trying to save a flag no they're not um, no way. get the out. six alabama all by themselves though up against the whole union team this is something that they cannot stand nice Fire. officer kill though um, more confederates i'm guessing that's davis brigade in the distance starting to come in no, Second that, U.S. Cavalry pulling back. Just, you know, There's not a lot of them. They probably can't tell, though. Points being uh, captured. Yeah. It's really weird, though. I've noticed that the CSA is charging, like, not together. They're going at different times. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I, I don't think it's on purpose. And CSA cap point? Intentional or not? I don't know, but JB Jenkins Brigade capped the point. Tickets aren't that big of a differential, so not a good, not a bad idea. We're probably not going to see any turtling or the overtime strategy in these EU events. Um, I just don't see an overtime thing ever happening in the EU event. Uh, maybe Grand uh -oh. Campaign. Actually, Grand huh. Campaign, yeah. I, I think the uh, last time we watched this, uh, an early cap was kind of what made uh, CSA lose, right? It was part of the reason. What match are you talking about? Uh, the last one we recorded on this map. Um, like oh, yeah. Um, someone early Oh, capped. yeah. That was like a taken, taken losses cap. But I think the level of strategy between NA and EU is different. And I don't yeah. think EU necessarily tries to use the main game mechanics in that way. Therefore, I don't think they're going to try to do anything fancy with overtime and stuff. We see 6 Alabama and Day DB, baby. Pushing further forward again. They're moving out of their cover. They're getting shot up. Uh, they're dying in skirmishing, maybe out of line. Now they're charging in. I guess their tickets don't matter as much, but Union's now getting ahead. You gotta be careful though, because Union does get that ticket boost when they uh, recap. Assuming CSA has more tickets, but CSA might not have more tickets in a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna see another charge here soon. Somewhere. We see Killer here. Is the next group. Uh, looks like they're gonna try to hit this Union up. We see LFL in Fourth New Jersey here. A and V kind of stuck in the open here. Uh, Confederates hit engaged first. I don't like where A and V is. A and V is getting slaughtered in the open. Union has cover. AMV does not. It's a, it's a simple equation. Line. LFL kind of got shot up, though. I don't think uh, they noticed the 4th uh, New Jersey guys. Or at least a lot of people didn't. Uh, off the bat, at least. I think they're mostly going to be able to get out of there. I, I am uh, I'm loving this uh, Sergeant Hunter here from 4th New Jersey. What a great NCO. Union hitting engaged. Yeah. Very close. A lot closer than last maps. 100%. Is that Union? Gotta love. Yeah? Yes. Yes, it is. Second U.S. pushing forward here. They're going to hit into the side of 20th Georgia. 20th Georgia, very outnumbered. You see first Delaware guys. I saw our here as well. Um, yeah, they're getting slaughtered right there. Georgia, about face, full back, full back. Oh, and Jumbo retreating his men, but there's only like three of them left. Uh, two. Yeah. He retreated back a little. Rolos here. You guys are right, Kevin? No, we're not all right. <laughs> Huge amount of them to the right now. <laughs> Last stand on the rock there. Copy. We're, I'll bring my guys over here right yeah, now. Yeah, we need we need help right now. Rolo's character is and doing a little wobble wobble. <laughs> but 
13th Georgia moving in to help the 20th, but Union kind of fell back there. You see some engagement on this left side. 6LA, 14th LA engaging with the 4th New Jersey. I mean, the rest of the second core is kind of holding back with others A and B. Maybe that's just A and B in the back, and we just missed the majority of the charge. I don't think they have charged anyone, but... A and V though, on the left side of, so half a second court charge, uh, they're now pushing up now with A and V, A and V is getting some nice flanking shots, uh, these are really nice shots, and they're hitting about one out of every three, four shots, which... It was a bad. I don't know if that uh, solid statistics are bad. I, I mean, I, I think it's okay for this. It's definitely not good. See me, I never miss. Oh, we we have the best people on BL on here. See that guy that just fell? That was actually me. <laughs> I'm not even lying. That was the guy I was aiming at. Crap. But no, I, I like double ranks here makes no sense. They're all bunched up here, uh, being shot at openly. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense. If a shot misses one guy, it's gonna whiz by the next one. Second US here destroying 13th and 20th. Maybe not destroying because they're kind of reshifting their lines here. Let's see who is this? It is more A and B. It looks like respawns are moving over to help. A and B guys are getting shot up as well, but a lot more reinforcements here. Uh, but Union, not really trying to decap the point here. They're playing this out. Very interesting. I don't know if they're trying to play for the ticket boost, but it won't give them too many more. They wanted more of a ticket boost, they would just keep uh, F90. Yo, what's up? Yeah. Southeast? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, see I see them all moving southeast. But let's check out what these Union respawns are doing. You have some moving out on the far right side is Pixel, 4th New Jersey. They're inching their way through the woods. Um, along with that, uh, you have the 80th uh, New York. Uh, About five of them. Four of them. Respawns are getting wonky on this map. You yeah. see, like, this makes. Uh, yeah, I don't know what. The Union is trickling in from spawn here. Like, what is this? Okay, that's an information death. Another information death. Yep. <laughs> actually, uh, Fitz don't is... kill the flag. Wow. No. Fitz, Fitz actually did pretty good, but he still lost more tickets overall because he's out yeah, of line. Yeah, five to three. Yep. Uh, I mean, these Union more coming in, they're dying. Sure, I guess they don't matter as much because they're going to regain the tickets. But at the same time, what the heck? Union's actually losing this right position here. There's Pearl leading the way for a and He's updated his tags. Um, he's a Brigadier General volunteer, I think. Brigadier volunteer. General volunteer. And a and is going to hit first Delaware in the back. They don't even see him. Hey, boys. Hey. Hey, Six New York here as well. They got white. Press it by killer. A and V just. Good maneuver. Yeah, A and V. A and V and 20th Georgia here are our two pro groups here at uh, flanking. Um, we do have more engaging here. It is 6 Alabama is gauging with HD. Uh, looks like HD is going to win this encounter though. As they have more Union reinforcements moving in to assist. That being the second US and LFL. LFL is kind of holding back though. Confederates have gained tickets. And they need to. I, I wonder if they're gonna try to take back point anytime soon. I think it's heavily possible for them to do it. I mean, they yeah, they about even numbers on the field right now. Union response coming in. A and V. They're gonna wipe these guys. Oh come on! I just got here. I guess this is kind of a Rambo sprawl, but Union getting wiped. Only a couple of Confederates holding in the center here, but yeah, I don't. I really don't know why. I kind of don't know why Union's recapping. I mean, normally if I was watching an NA event, I'd be like, oh, they're not capping because they want to be aggressive and push the other team, uh, because the attackers are now the defenders, the Confederates. 
Um, I'd be like, oh, they're trying to push them in the last stand, but they're not being aggressive, and they're not recapping the points. So I don't know what's up. Yeah, that's confusing. I think they charged out those logs a little bit and got the remaining skirmishers off of it. But Indeed. We partially kind of fell back, too. Union hitting taking losses as 20th Georgia uh, takes a volley at 2nd U.S. 2nd U.S. has got those beautiful cab guns and 20th Georgia charging in. Retreats. This just looks more like an execution, if anything. Yeah. And 2nd U.S. falling back? He's done like five of them. Yeah, it's charged, bro. Get that counter charge going. Actually, A and V in second quarter falling all the way back. Union spawns from Maine. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but Union spawns with Maine. Have come in and Union's kind of retaken this field. Uh, that cap is going in favor of the Union. That's not a normal decay. That's going too fast for that. But the Confederates are reforming here. And uh, I'm thinking they get up a stage from this. Uh, better to taking the losses, but no, uh, we're we're dead even tickets here. I right. Union, where did they go? They oh, look like they're wait, are they not capping anymore. Oh, they are capping. I don't know if this is intentional or not. I guess maybe 88th New York is capping point right now. Okay. Can I get off? Now they I'm are capping the point. Them. I think there's enough uh, I, <laughs> ESA to stop them now, so we'll see what they do. Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of sitting back. I think oh, they're moving. This is gonna be close. I um, if you're gonna cap now, I don't know why you didn't recap earlier, but because if anything, you just let both sides get down, and you stop that big black Don't's timer. With us, boys. Yeah. Point still going in favor of Union. Uh, Union has recapped. Fire well, fire well. Uh, 80th New York, they need to get out of there. They're crouching in the woods, heavily outnumbered here. Anvy just needs to charge, and they can get more tickets. Uh, a lot of tickets. Uh, more reinforcements going in here. They're all crouching. Yeah, they won't even be able to fight back if Anvy did decide to charge right now. I know. Because, uh,. You gotta stand up and get your killer. bail out. Oh, killer! You can beautiful shot, Mag. Mag just like shot the crap out of Killer. Uh, more reinforcements. LFL moving to the right side of the ADA fell. Um, looks. I'm guessing that's 20th. Maybe. Uh, no, it's actually six Alabama to the right of A and V. Um, but LFL is gonna slam into A and V. Or I don't know about slam, but they're going on right next to them. They're basically oh, touching. Oh, see, that's what happens. LFL is actually charging, and A and V is going to get slaughtered here. Another brilliant flanking maneuver here. Uh, actually, it's quite close. Crap, A and V might win this. No, they're I not. They're falling they back. LFL won. Very barely, though. Um, and you can see Confederates are still ahead on tickets. Uh, because a lot of those guys were skirmishing, which you should not be. Um, second Corps trying to go around and flank the Union spawn again. Uh, you do have some engagement in the woods here. It is 6 Alabama with 2nd U.S., 2nd U.S. Um, I think... Look at that one lonely CSA guy. <laughs> He's all the way over. There's a couple CSK guys over there. Uh Let's see what the tall gray do here. Will he? Oh. So I, no one really won between second U.S. and six Alabama. They both just kind of fell back. Uh, Jenkins Brigade doing a little trolling, being charged at by HD. I say this map looks really nice and spectacular. <laughs> like the over. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing that does suck is that there's a lot of trees. I mean, it looks beautiful from the overview. Yeah. I mean, this whole game does. But, uh, HD charge. They want JB dead. They hate Jenkins Brigade. And uh, no. Nah. <laughs> oh, and Rolo just got sniped. Don't, don't shoot. Rest in peace, Rolo. I do 
see oh, some sorry. movement left of Leeds. But yeah, it looks like both sides are sitting down shooting. CSA winning as of now. I have a big thing is what's second core gonna do? And speaking of which, here they come. I see Zio. Zio Panama here. What a great guy running the good old pick patrol on Wednesdays. Um, if he still does that. I think he does. What a great guy there. Uh, engaging second core is 88th New York. They've, they've put themselves really far out here. Um, you gotta be careful. There's not a lot of them. Yeah, some of these guys, a couple crouching. I don't know why they're crouching in the woods. Moving in to help the 88th New York is LFL. Love the Lee's French Legion. Love them. Yeah. Despite the double ranks. I, I can get past <laughs> I don't like the double ranks either. But I think 20th George is getting aggressive on the other side. Man, I don't see shit. I to shoot those uh, cavalry men. Oh my. Yeah, 20th Georgia getting very close shots, getting a flag there. They're shooting against SR as well. They come, here they come. AMV's coming in. Yep. AMV knows. They do indeed. Uh, AME's gonna win this. They just outnumber them. You gotta be careful. The hoods is behind them. They could go support that charge, but it doesn't look like they are going to. Yeah, a couple of unions starting to trickle in from the center, though. Uh, CSA winning that union guy starting to trickle in. Fourth New Jersey moving in. Uh, HD now moving in as well. It's. It, I think there's still more CSA guys if 20th Georgia moves up. Yeah, if the rest of the CSA guys come up, CSA could win. It's kind of a scrap right now for every man. Yeah, now they move in, and I think CSA is going to win this charge. CSA is about a good fourth of a morale stage ahead. And CSA is going to have control of this uh, left flank. Oh, shit. There you go. Press charge by the CSA there. Parker and his boys following the script, moving into the position. Right in front of you, boys. Uh, and they're gonna start taking shots. However, they are—they're about evenly numbered, maybe a little outnumbered. But they—they're sitting themselves in the open. They need to shift a little right, like these guys are. Look at that! Get up on that rock. Seems like they're doing some damage. We missed something on this uh, this side with second core here. They kind of got wiped with what it looks like. There's still think... some remaining. Yeah, a couple, but. Oh dang, oh team kill. What a way to go. Forward on them, they're behind the tree. But Union's about to hit breaking. 24 and a half minutes remaining. It's CSA. There's always room for improvement, but CSA is doing good. I think we might see a big charge and a, a hold for a minute here once they hit breaking and then a charge. I, uh, I lo you love to see those. Really do love to see the massive breaking charges. So six ALDB kind of just holding this flank, making sure Union can't get those flags. They're, they have some right, impressive right shots the here. They're hitting everyone not holding behind cover. But Union's starting to get some more guys. They're trickling in. Um, you do see 4th New Jersey and 88th New York kind of holding in the center in front of where they were holding at the beginning of the game. And the 2nd U.S. Cavalry getting a little aggressive here. Um, I don't know as most of the CSA is in spawn right now. Yeah. They're going to get two out-of-line kills right now, though. Let's, let's... Um, would they be out of line if the flag, wouldn't the flag have to move? That guy, one of them's out of line. Oh, Red skills running away. Union hitting breaking. It looks like he will. Right side. Right side. Union getting a team kill though, so they lost equal casualties. Ticket wise the same. ANV engaging second US. A lot of the CSA moving this way now. If anything, CSA is going to swing down like a door and. Uh, Hit him, second U.S. cap falling back. Like, I think right there might be an appropriate time to retreat. Yeah, I'd agree. 
moving into engage. Yeah, they're holding. Forward, yeah, HD now helping the six New York engaging. Well, these six Alabama shots have been pretty dang good, uh, and DB as well. They're hitting anyone that's not in cover. Stay behind the rocks. Always good. I think uh, most of the CSA did hold up on that fence if they charged out a minute ago. So I think they are prepping for some point big here. They are. They have plenty of time. They're head on tickets. CSA has put themselves in a phenomenal position to win this game. Union should have recapped earlier. Um, second US. Looks like they're going to go help out 6 New York and Hood's division. LFL 88 pulling up very far forward with the 4th New Jersey. More HD response. Again, I don't know. I think Union's just trying to stay on the point, which is why they're so forward like that. Um, but killer's uh, yeah, the Killer's going to try to engage the 88th New York here. 88th New York, they're spread out and all crouching. And on the east. Yeah, get what them, are killer. they doing? And here they go. They deserve oh, they to get still slaughtered. Noticed. Now they're taking. Oh, they're noticing now. They they ah, uh, that's you can't do that. You really can't. Half their guys One are their... dead, and they're all on their knees. No, 88th basically just got wiped. And none of their allies are assisting. Their closest allies, 4th New Jersey, uh, has not even realized that they just got wiped. Like... Ready to do reload. After your I think he's getting ready wow. to pop some shots off at Anvy, though, and I don't think Anvy knows about them. Killer sees that. Yep, here they go, 4th New Jersey, they're gonna rally. 4th New Jersey bowing here, Pixel going down. Uh, that point is being capped by CSA. 4th New Jersey guys getting shot down. I think a lot of these Union guys are focusing on the wrong side here. They're going after the people who aren't directly under point. I... Uh, Union... This, is, this point is unfavorable for Union, that's for sure, but... They did not set yes. them. They put, they set themselves in a position that allowed the CSA to get um, decent cover in the woods. Now Union's gonna have to charge out. You can see LFL and Fourth New Jersey starting to move that way. Victor going down. Fourth New Jersey getting shot up though as they come to the open. Um, are they even gonna, like are, are, are they even gonna try to retake the point? Confederates charging at Union just didn't even Union has a Union Wow. Uh, I can't even speak. Union didn't even try to retake the point. <laughs> they, <laughs> they just like man, well, good game. <laughs> they didn't wanna they didn't want the smoke. Uh it's a good game though, I mean it did have a it's pretty even the entire time, it's just I don't know what the end game strategy there was. <laughs> They're just like Well, we lost. <laughs> GG. Oh. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a good fight, guys. <laughs> Shade, your thoughts? Again, another great map, but this time both sides played great. Um, still a lot of good flanking maneuvers by both teams, and honestly, just a fun match to watch. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, pretty well played. Of course, there's some errors. Obviously, they've been pointed out already. You can't be crouching in the op or in the woods spread out like that. It's just. Especially when you're on the point like that. You know you're they're going to come right at you. But regardless of that, two great rounds. Fun to watch. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the join button below the video to support our channel monthly. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And see you in the next episode.